Hey man, hey. what's what's going on, buddy? How you doing, Tim? Hey, you doing all right, buddy? I'm doing fine, man. What year is this thing? It's a 1961 Corvette. 61. Yeah. yeah, I seen it from a distance, man. I'm a big fan of the dual headlights, the color choice, the silver, the red interior. The car is gorgeous, man. They didn't, they wow. Didn't, they didn't hold these guys back when they designed yeah. cars. They did not. Yeah, man. That thing is awesome. All the trim work is perfect. Period correct, except for the wheels. Am I? Am I? What am I looking at here? I mean, uh, what else went into it? It's a kind of a twist on a resto mod, in my ideas. I yeah. got stock running gear underneath. The chassis is all original, mm -hmm. but with some upgrades as far as the big wheels and tires. Yeah. A really big engine, five-speed tranny made by Tremec. Paint by Exalta, and most of all of the chrome and the trim parts all come from Eckler's Corvettes. Man. Wow, what a ride. Mm -hmm. I mean, from a distance, you see you coming down the boulevard in this thing, man. Are you, you, oh, it's gorgeous. What? One of my favorite body styles. Can't help it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, do you have a top? You got a top we handy have, if it starts have, raining on you today? We have a top in here. Yeah, yeah we have a top in okay. here that comes up, a, a convertible top. We also have a, a hard top at home that I keep stored yeah. for the winter time. I guess that was the question. Where's the hard top for right. it? But you got the I rag top or the right. option for the rag right. yeah, You can hard put top. it up. It just takes a few minutes yeah. to put up, and, and you can get you home in the rain. Uh, you, you know what, folks? When you see this kind of stuff, you're going, man, how do I get my hands on one of those? What does it take? A lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work. How long have you owned this thing? 33 years. 33 years? Yeah, 33 years. Oh, man, what'd you do? It, Find it like uh, a few years old and... and uh, uh, well, you know, it's it's almost 50-year-old car. Yes. You know, from 61. So, yeah, yeah when I, once I found it, I knew I was in love with it. Mm. And uh, it took years to get it to the point I am now. You yeah. know, I, I had it a couple different ways along the way, but eventually this is what I come up with is my yeah. idea. Okay. And uh, a lot of, some handmade parts, some uh, mostly just a, my vision of what I thought a hot rod Okay. Ought to be, and it has to be streetable where we can take a, a little trip in oh, it, sure. road trips. We take a lot yeah. of road trips in it. We drive it. Um, it's got air condition, got a five-speed tranny, so it's it's really roadworthy. It's not it's not just something we take out at a show. I mean, yeah. we actually we use it all the time. Well, so. What's your name, sir? They call me Daddy O. Daddy O's Corvette, yeah. man. So is this something you build in your backyard? You got a, a, a bona fide shop? You do this for other people really or just yourself? Just myself. Yeah. Just myself. Okay. Yeah, I got a big a big yeah. machine. I got a machine shop in my backyard. I can hand make a lot of oh, pieces. Boy. Yeah, yeah it makes makes things nice. Oh, you know? man. Look, uh, there you go, folks. Get you a garage in your backyard. You know, uh, right. it's endless what you can do with a vehicle. I'd like to, uh, I'd just really like to thank you for inviting me to the uh, Hot Rod Madness, man. You know? Oh, yeah, man. Glad to have you on Hot Rod All Madness, right. man. I love the car. All can right. we pop the hood and check out sure, the engine? We sure can. See what you got under there. What you're looking at right here, Tim, is a uh, custom built. 355 all roller motor. Okay. Makes about 550 horsepower. And um, it's built like a shiny nickel. It yes, looks like it a is. diamond in a box when you yeah. pop the hood. So, yes, sir. uh, I tried to uh, make it as neat and as clean as possible, and I think I think yeah. we I think we accomplished that pretty cool. You, you, know? you know, the Corvettes have such a reputation as, uh, and when you go to work on one, oh, yeah. is that yeah. tight? That's I mean, not, it's, not it's not bad that on bad. this car. No, these older models were uh -huh. a lot, lot easier. Okay. And it doesn't help that I probably had the car apart yeah. four or five times in my lifetime. So it really, sure. it really, uh, I get to the point now. I pick up a screw, I know where it goes. Yeah, so, got yeah, you. Pretty. Uh, yeah, and if you, I don't know where it goes, I know where to get it. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so, that is good. Yeah. Uh, well, the headers, the uh, manifolds, yeah. things of that nature on the Corvette, everybody, you know, it's like a nightmare trying to get in there and yeah, get them done, yeah, you know. Yeah, and, yeah, and I'm yeah. looking at yours. It's all nicely tucked in there. That looks yeah. like you went with, uh, yeah, you do have some headers on there. I got. Uh, I think they Sanderson headers, stainless okay. headers, and I have uh, Edelbrock and, and uh, intake, Edelbrock mm -hmm. carburetors. Yeah. I have uh, a camshaft. I think it's from Comp Cams, and okay. most a lot of that stuff come from Summit Racing. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two four setup. The polished intake. The air cleaner is nice, and oh, yeah. you know it's kind of yeah. simple. That, it some, looks uh, good. It's going to tuck in with the hood on top of it. Oh, it is only like yeah. a quarter of an inch between those screws. Uh, I can imagine. Top yeah. of the hood. It's yeah. that tight. Fits you know? just right. Just right. right. Just right. Man. Beautiful ride, man. Well, Thank you. What does this vent do? Can you pop that up for sure. vent ventilation sure. and can, AC? Yeah. I mean, uh, 
natural AC. That's, that's what you got, right? They call that the original vintage air. Okay. <laughs> Let's the air that's, just come in sure. and go on the floor for you. That's all you get back in the day. Yeah, but now we got real. Now you have a polished AC. Real, you know, <laughs> real vintage air up in here. So, yeah, the uh, compressor's stuck over there by yeah. itself. And, and it, that's, that's been a real, in this, the, sure. the weather we have in the, mm -hmm. the last week here, that air conditioning has been a lifesaver. Man, where are you from? New Orleans. All right. Yeah, yeah. I meet a lot of you New Orleans guys around this way. You know, you, you guys, you guys have some killer hot rods. Oh, we got some hot rods yes. in our town. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of good painters, a lot of good, uh, speaking of that, the, the yeah. painter in this car was done at a local shop, uh, Mike okay. and Jerry's Paint Supply yeah, out in, yeah. uh, in Metairie. Mm -hmm. And uh, they did a phenomenal job on it. I can't say enough about them. The, the product is uh, Exalta, is the uh, okay. company that makes the product. And yeah. uh, it's just phenomenal. Voodoo nice. child. <laughs> What's that all about, man? Well, I used to race motorcycles uh, when I was younger. I had really? a, a Nitro Harley, and okay. it was called, the name of the team was Voodoo, Voodoo Racing. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, so we just carried that on, that little Voodoo thing. No way. On. Have you ever went 200 miles an hour on a bike? I've been 200 this miles guy. an hour on a motorcycle. <laughs> this guy. Yeah. This guy. Uh, yeah. 200 in the vet? Mm, Actually, 135. So 135 in the yeah. vet, eh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> The only trouble with that is, is the wife makes yeah. more noise than the motor. Yeah. <laughs> you know when I'm going. Screaming over there, right? Slow, Slow down. down. Yeah. yeah, right. Hey, man, right. beautiful vet. Thank you for yeah. sharing it with Thanks Hot Rod again. Madness today, Thanks man. Again. On the streets of Ocean Springs, cruising the coast.